Good morning, class. This is Mr. Harris for your weekly lesson slash video about psychology during our remote learning times. This week, we're going to move a little bit away from development, but going to what are you developing into? And that is your personality. Now, I know last week's assignment may have taken you guys a while, so I'm going to go a little lighter on you guys this week as far as the content and the assignment goes. And I think this should all be very interesting for you guys. So our target, to begin to understand our own personalities and how we work with others. So there's a whole field about what personality types go well together and things like that. I'm just going to get you guys this week to really start learning about what kind of person are you considered according to social sciences. So personality is the combination of characteristics or qualities that form an individual's distinctive character. Okay, What actually makes you you? You see these snowflake on the side there. All snowflakes are supposed to be different. Yeah. Okay, so personality psychologists ask, how can we describe personality? How can we do measure personality? And how does personality develop? We're going to save a lot of the personality development for next week in class. So a trait is what we'll be looking at a little bit this week. A characteristic pattern of behavior and a personality trait inventory is how we measure your traits. So this would be a questionnaire in which people respond to items designed to measure different personality traits. And you guys are going to be doing quite a few of these personality trait inventories this week. Now, we're going to go at some of the most basic breakdowns. One of the most um, easy one and something you've probably heard many times before is the difference between introverts and extroverts. Okay, so this is one of the key personality type distinctions. An introvert is a person who feels energized by spending time on their own. An extrovert, a person who feels energized by spending time with others. Are you more of an internal, alone, quiet person versus you more of an outgoing, um, want to talk to people type of person? Now, here's a couple of diff different traits that describe introverts and extroverts. Introverts look at life from the inside out, gain energy through inner reflection and solitude, get more ex excited by ideas than external activities. They prefer a few deep, close relationships to many casual ones. They feel tired and drained after socializing, even if they enjoyed it. They listen well and expect others to do the same. Think first, talk later, express yourself well in writing. For the extroverts, be primarily interested in what is uh, in and concerned with the external world. Gain energy from socializing and being out and about. Find your energy is depleted when you spend too much time alone. Prefer talking with someone rather than sitting alone and thinking. Think as you speak. Express yourself well verbally. May seem always on the go. May come across as confident, friendly, and assertive. I also know that for many of us, we may be a mix of these different personality traits. There's definitely some things in those extrovert side that more describe me, but I also need that solitude to regain my energy as well. I like to think of myself as being very extrovert in public with my job and my friends, and then needing a lot of introversion time to kind of recharge myself before moving on. Now, there's also another personality division we do with type A and type B personality, and most people are in type A, okay? Most people are relatively outgoing, excuse me, most people are type B. Uh, type B personalities are known as being extremely outgoing, determined to seed, organize, and can be anxious. These are the people that use many different color pens to highlight things, always get things turned in on time. Type B personalities don't like to be stressed, not that competitive, enjoy moderate success, and they can be creative types. Now, obviously, there's a lot of space in between these two, but we often hear that term, oh, he's very type A. That means they feel the need to conquer the world, very organized, those kind of people there. CEOs, geniuses, Michael Jordan, these kind of people that I'm happy they exist, but you don't necessarily want to be friends with them. Now, of the traits, um, psychologists have done a lot of different theories about how can we measure personality. And so we try to measure them based on personality traits, such as dependency, aggressiveness, or anxiety. Now, there's a lot of different um, trait ones. There's some of 16, some of three. But the one that's most universally used is called the big five traits that are central to describing your personality. And those big five traits are extroversion versus introversion, agreeableness, conscientiousness, emotional stability, 
culture, intellect, and openness. So you guys will be taking a quiz that will be looking at your trait scores. So the first trait, again, is openness. Those that score low on this doesn't mean you're bad at this, but tend to be more practical, conventional, they prefer routine, versus those that score high in openness, curious, wide range of interests, more independent. Conscientiousness, okay, is like how prepared you kind of are in some ways, your competence, your self-discipline, our score for over. Um, if you have a low score, you're impulsive, careless, disorganized. If you score high, you're more hardworking, dependable, and organized. Your extroversion versus introversion, which is are you quiet, withdrawn, reserved, or are you outgoing, warm, seek adventure? We just talked about this one. Your agreeableness, critical, uncooperative, suspicious versus helpful, trusting, and empathetic. Okay, how much do you trust the world? And then neuroticism, calm versus anxiety. Okay. Tendency towards unstable emotions. They're either calm, even tempered and secured, or anxious, unhappy, and prone to negative emotions. Now, you'll take your score and you'll see, and there'll be a little something for you to read about, okay? And, and there's nothing to be concerned about with any of your scores. It's just trying to describe who you are. So there is evidence that says these big five traits are pretty universal across all cultures. And there's also somewhat of a genetic basis for these traits. So we looked at heritability, and I think about two weeks ago, where we talked about how a lot of your personalities in some ways inherit it. This is one of the things they're talking about. Now, the big bad test you guys will also be taking is called the Myers-Briggs personality test. This one will take a little bit of time, okay? And it's the most popular personality test. It's used by businesses, universities, and employers, and divides people into 16 different types based upon their answers. So you guys will take this test, and it will give you these four-letter codes here, okay? Which one describes you the most? Okay, now, if you see they're not evenly distributed to the population, so certain groups exist way more than others, and this changes country to country. This is just the United States. So when you guys take this test, you'll get your score, and then, or excuse me, your four-letter code, and that four-letter code will then help you read more about what kind of person you are and what career paths might be best for you. And I remember the first time I did this years ago when I was living in Egypt, um, and it was really interesting to read about what I was at the time. I've actually scored in a number of different places, depending on where I was in my life and how I was feeling that day. But there is some um, repeatability to these tests over time. All right, guys, so your assignment for the week is called Personality Test Questions. And you'll be taking a number of these personality tests, including are you introvert, extrovert, are you more type A, type B, um, your Myers-Briggs score. There's also a color one that I think is pretty interesting as well. And then you'll answer some questions about these personality tests. I hope this stuff is really interesting this week, guys, and we'll get more into how your personality kind of develops next week.